Every May, we get to celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, or APAHM for short. From May 1st to the 31st, groups and individuals learn, visualize, and celebrate the historical and cultural contributions of Asian and Pacific Islander descent in the United States. And if you are wondering how you can celebrate it, well, don't worry because I have plenty of ideas to share with you. Hey everyone, it's Janelle from Janelle Eats and alongside Google Arts and Culture, I bring you six ways to commemorate the richness and complexity of cultures that make up this community. Okay, 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 hold on a minute. I know you are eager to start celebrating, but let's go over the basics of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month and why we celebrate it. Yes, it's a mouthful, but APAHM is important because it recognizes the historical and cultural contributions of the community while also advocating for immigration reform. APAHM originated when then President Jimmy Carter started a week long celebration in the first week of May to commemorate the first immigration of the Japanese to the US on May 7, 1843 and to honor the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in May of 1869, the building of which up to 20,000 Chinese workers participated in. Years later, Congress passed a bill that expanded the week-long celebration into a month-long event. At first, it started as Asian American Heritage Month, an umbrella term that emerged at the same time the field of ethnic studies was evolving in the United States. Scholars Emma Gee and Yuji Ichioka coined the term in 1968 as a result of the Black Power Movement. While uniting people under an umbrella term might seem powerful at first, it still leaves individuals out of it. So to include more diverse backgrounds and migration stories, it expanded to include Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders. A great way to start commemorating this month is by exploring Roger Shimomura's painting, Shimomura Crossing the Delaware, a play on Emanuel Leutze's 1851 painting, Washington Crossing the Delaware, Shimomura delves into the challenges faced by those of Asian descent in the United States. The artist combines American cultures with Asian traditions to discuss Americanism and patriotism and how these two affect the lives of people across racial and ethnic lines. On November 25, 1990, former President George H.W. Bush signed into law the Immigration Act of 1990, which allowed people with exceptional ability to work temporarily in the United States through the H-1B visa. In 2013, Smithsonian Asian Pacific American Center invited artists to use the H-1B visa as visual inspiration to comment on their immigration journeys, one filled with hardships and opportunities. When the Great San Francisco Earthquake of 1906 destroyed Chinatown in the city, it provided an opportune time for the mayor and developers to call for the destruction of this now historic landmark. Instead, San Francisco's Chinese leaders rallied to rebuild their community with a kindred spirit of resilience. When you imagine India, what comes to your mind? Elephants, saris, gurus, temples, or the pulsating energy of Bollywood movies? While all of these are true to India, the exhibition Go Beyond Bollywood explores what it means to be Indian American. The photos highlight all the contributions made by this community, from engineering and medicine to everyday aspects of life, they have it all. Born in Brazil to South Korean immigrants, Teresa Lee and her family moved to Chicago, all undocumented, when she was two. In the windy city, she became a prominent young pianist, but couldn't apply to college due to her status. Inspired by her story, Senators Dick Durbin and Orrin Hatch introduced the first Development, Relief, and Education for Alien Minors Act, or DREAM Act for short. Lee was to become the first dreamer if the bill passed on September 12, 2001, but the unfortunate events of 9-11 put a halt to that dream. Ever since, Lee has fought for immigrant rights in the U.S. Kapiolani and Lilio Kalani, both queens of the Kingdom of Hawaii, worked their whole lives to improve the quality of life for their people. 
while Queen Kapiolani focused on the medical issues impacting the Hawaiian population, specifically women, Queen Liliokalani centered on the fight for equal rights, land, and restoration of the Hawaiian kingdom after the U.S. overthrew it in 1893. Their legacies carry on into the 21st century through the future generations who continue to e kulia i kanu'u, strive to reach the summit, as Queen Kapiolani declared. While it's important to celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we must remember that change comes when we use our privilege to advocate for immigration reform and fight against systemic racism. Let's use this month to acknowledge the history behind these communities in the United States and how they've contributed to the development of the nation. If you want to keep celebrating, make sure to visit Google Arts and Culture's Asian Pacific American Cultures for more amazing stories.